Now, it's one of London's most famous landmarks, and it's soon to become the capital's highest pop-up restaurant. Around 1,400 people are being offered the chance to dine at the BT Tower's revolving restaurant on the 34th floor. It's all part of the building's 50th anniversary celebrations, and Emilia Papadopoulos can tell us more and joins us from there. Emilia. Yes, Alice. Well, there's no doubt that this is one of the most spectacular views in the whole of London. You can virtually see the entire city from up here on the 34th floor of the BT Tower. Now, the restaurant here, as you mentioned, revolves. It takes 22 minutes to spin round once. So when you're eating your dinner here, you get a nice 360 degree view of the capital. Now, back in the 60s, this was one of the most popular night spots. It was famous for the scampi, the chicken Kievs and the celebrity guest list. 1965, the year this opened to the public. The post office tower, as it was known, saw 4,000 people a day visiting its observation point for the best view in the capital. But its restaurant on the 34th floor was by far the main attraction. Well, in 1965, this was the place to be seen in London. It was always full of famous singers, film stars and politicians until it closed in 1980 for security reasons. Well, this summer, it will reopen to the public and some Londoners will be able to come here for lunch, dinner and, of course, the view. We wanted to celebrate it. Uh, we wanted to, to really recognise that it's such an iconic building on the, the London uh, landscape and uh, what better way than giving members of the public a chance to, to look out and, and see how beautiful London is. We expect very high demand uh, and so to ensure that it's fair we're operating a ballot system uh, and it'll be uh, on a random basis uh, and then anybody who, who wins in the ballot will have the chance to bring up to three other guests up to the restaurant. It'll be open for lunch and open for dinner. And in true London pop-up style, the restaurant will only be open for two weeks from Saturday the 25th of July. Well, if you were visiting the, the view up here 50 years ago, it would have cost you four shillings. Now, that's about 20p. But in 2015, if you're hoping to come up and eat here, it will be a little bit more expensive, costing about £50 per head for lunch. Well, the ballot opens on Monday. And don't worry too much if you don't get a table. There will be another chance to come and visit up here in the autumn. Amelia, thanks very much for that.